Hello guys and welcome to the final part in this tutorial, let us continue with the models, make a new collection, we are going to add a wardrobe to the scene, like the same way before, I am copying the models from another file, and paste it in the collection we made, so, just rotate it if needed, shortcut for rotation is R, then place it in the scene. We might need to scale it also, and to do that, press S while selecting the model and drag your mouse, it is also preferred to keep in the top with the wireframe mode for smoother movement. After all that, place it on the floor as shown, you can use the number bad to switch between views, make sure to check the space between the door and the wardrobe. Another model we need to add is the TV set, so, as before, paste it in new collection, and from the top view, place it in the scene, all this models you will find in the description down below. So, I am also gonna add some stuff like books to the scene. We might need to scale the TV set a bit, 
If you need to select multiple object in the same collection, just right click on the collection and hit select object, this will select all the object in the collection, after that you can deselect the one you do not need, so as shown, select the TV set, scale it up. If you scale the box like I, scale it down again. I just scaled down the closet a bit, it seemed big, but if you are okay with it just leave it like that, you can make it the same height with the door and it will be okay. Another model I am adding to the scene is the shoes, a new collection is not needed in this case. Make sure to adjust the height if you place it on the carpet. Now, I did notice that the door a bit big, so, I am scaling it down to match the wardrobe height. Another thing you can do is open the windows, it will add some dynamic to the shot. Now, to hide object from showing in the final render, you need to uncheck them like shown. So I did select the same hide in viewport option, sorry for that, you need to select this one. So, just make the process as shown with the render icon. Another thing to do is to copy the door to the wall near the bed. To do that, select the door. Press Shift D to make a copy, rotate it by 90 degree, and that's it, we are done with the models.
it looks nice, and you can make it a lot more real, it is up to you to add the little details, now as you see, I am adding a new collection, it has two cameras that you might use, so just work with it if you want. After adding the TV set, the first camera need to be moved a bit, or you just hide the TV set in the render icon. But just to know how to move a key framed object, so, just move it from the location axis as shown, the color of the moved axis will change, in our case it became orange. But the mouse over the axis and hit I, it will set the key frames to the new location, and that's it. So, thing to check, go to preferences, animation, make sure you are on linear, Now go to every setting, in the sampling, I did render on something between 600 and 800, but again, I am operating on a laptop, so if you have a nice workstation, go up, make sure ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections is on. In the dimensions, if you are doing an animation, you can either choose a video file format or just render it as frames which is better, so either go with the FFmpeg video, or render it as PNG frames. Select an output folder for your frames, and hit render animation, this will take some time. After you finish rendering the frames, you need to go to the video sequencer, make sure you are on the first frame, then go to add, image sequencer, and select all the frames you rendered. Change the format file to FFmpeg video, open encoding, in the container select MPEG4, make the output quality high, and hit trend animation again, this will only take seconds, and you now have your first animation shot, make couple of those to show the whole room, feel free to send me your work, see you soon guys, stay safe, goodbye.